Good morning, Christy. Are you ready for your breakfast? It's time for breakfast. My goodness, can you believe you're four to six years old? I can't even believe it sometimes. You're such an angel. Look how pretty you are. So sweet. Kind of eat like a little bird, don't you? You know, sometimes I think you don't even remember some of the fun we used to have. You know, one time when you were just a little tiny, oh, maybe you were like, like five or six years old. We had about four or five kids by then. You had some little brothers and one older sister, and we decided to go down and see Grandma Johnson. She lived in Delta, and it was fun to go down and visit her, so I packed all you kids up, and, and I brought you along. I used to take you places. I don't get to take you much now, because you were, you were a lot littler then. But anyway, so we went down in our little car all the way down to Delta, and we picked up Grandma Johnson because she loves soft serve ice cream and she liked to get french fries and put it in her ice cream and dip her french fries in her ice cream what a great lady remember grandma johnson do you talk to her sometimes now that she's on the other side of the veil so anyway we got down to the ice cream shop and we had some fun ice cream and grandma was so cute to all the little kids and you were just sitting in your little carrier because I had a little baby carrier I could put you in. And guess what? You were just kind of even, I could even give you a little soft serve ice cream because you don't really like ice cream much because you don't like the coldness of it. Anyway, we had a nice little time with Grandma Johnson. She's such a great lady. And then I left you there at the ice cream shop and went and put all the other, helped Grandma out to the car. <coughs> And I helped all the little kids get in the car. And then I came back to get you. And you know, there was kind of something going on in my life right then. I had been told by quite a few people that, that it probably wasn't a very good idea that I should keep you. That I had all these little kids to take care of. And if I kept you, I wouldn't be able to take care of them as good as I should. And I was kind of worried about that because I didn't want to put you in a home and yet I didn't want to neglect my children so I was doing a lot of praying about that wondering what I should do and uh, when I came back into the ice cream shop I had noticed that there was a lady there working and she was older and and uh, I had noticed her kind of watching our family but when I came back to get you she went ahead and she came over to me and she was so sweet. And she said, you know, I couldn't help but notice you and your family and your little sweet girl here. And she said, um, what's her name? And I said, well, her name's Christy and she's about six or seven, or however old you were. And she said, well, she said, you know, I had a little girl like this once. And I said, really? I had a little girl like this? And she said, yes. And I said, well, uh, how old did she live to be? And she said, well, she was about 10 years old when she died. And uh, I said, did you have other children? And she said, yes, I had four boys. And I remember her saying four boys because I had a, several little boys myself. And, uh, and I asked her, I said, well, uh, did you keep your little girl in her in your home with you? And she said, yes, I always kept her at home. And I said, well, how did that work out? Did that work out good that uh, you kept your little girl? And you know, this lady, Christy, she was so sweet. And you know what? She kind of got all teary. And uh, she said, you know... My little girl was a great influence in our home. And she said, she turned my four little boys into wonderful, noble men. And I will always remember her saying that. And she said that the way that they served that little girl and the way that they learned compassion and love and kindness had been one of the greatest blessings for her family. 
And you know, I hugged that lady and I told her thank you. And I said, you've been an answer to my prayer today because I've been wondering if I should keep Christy in our home or not. And so I packed you up and we went out in the car and we took Grandma home and I drove all the way back to Orem and I had such happiness right inside my heart because the Lord had answered my prayer and I knew that I would never need to place you in a home. I never really wanted to anyway. So that was the answer to that. And now here it is, 46 years old, huh, Christy? You're getting so, you're just so beautiful. I don't know how you could get any prettier. And 46 years later, you're still here blessing people. And we love you.